Oh, this is really cool. Wow, this is realistic. Crazy. Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Dan here. Just wanted to make a little response video to this week's episode of the Duncan Trussell Family Hour podcast. If you didn't listen, this week Duncan had a guy named Reverend Kyle on the show who is a virtual reality evangelist. And basically what he does is evangelize to people through, you know, virtual reality headsets like Oculus Rift. Now obviously this is not a virtual reality headset, this is some of those glasses they give you at the movie theater and just some headphones I throw on for props to make it a little more interesting. But I, I think that uh, this this uh, oncoming virtual reality phenomenon is uh, pretty pretty cool. Now in the 80s there was this big craze about how virtual reality would become a big thing with all this new computer imaging and uh, video games and overall it really was kind of a flop and you know we had some things come around like the Virtual Boy game system from Nintendo that put all these red images on these binoculars sort of on a stand and it was just not a very good device. Of course now we have much better technology for things like the Oculus Rift. If you haven't already done so, I recommend going and Google, just Googling Oculus VR. That's O-C-O-L-U-S and then just the letters VR, or just Google Oculus Rift or 3D virtual reality headset. Uh, there's tons of videos of people trying these advanced virtual reality headsets on, on YouTube and elsewhere, where they put them on and they're just blown away by the reality of the 3D images because they think they're in the, the game or the software that's running. There's videos of people going on roller coasters that were, you know, where you have full 3D head tracking and as they go up, you can just see their faces light up with excitement, and that's when they get to the top and go down, they're actually screaming because it's so realistic. One idea that Duncan and Kyle talked about in the podcast was this idea of virtual reality software programs or video games designed to try to make you believe that what you're in is actually real life. In other words, virtual reality programs designed to make you think that they are reality. And this is one of the controversial issues behind the whole virtual reality technology taking off, really. You know, with games like Minecraft or World of Warcraft and all these other things, um, people sink so much time into, not to mention just the uh, constant flow of technology, what impact would you know, taking it a step further with these virtual reality headsets have on us as a society, not just our kids. And I know that some people have said, well, kids sit this close to the TV screen anyways, and they're sitting there with the controller, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But to me, it, it, you know, putting something on over your face and over your ears is just that much more of a barrier between you and the outside world. I mean, if you can't hear what's going on, you know, what if the house gets lit on fire and you don't notice it? Or, you know, what about those little things you hear, like someone knocking at the door or something like that? You know, I just think there is a bigger barrier put in place. And it also makes it just that much harder to interact with anybody in the room if they are in the room. Because I know right now, you know, just having some people in the room with their cell phones, it can be difficult to get people's attention sometimes. But even with a cell phone, you don't have something covering your face. You know, I can have a cell phone and look away from it. I can look over there. But having a headset on, I can't do that. Can I? No. So, I think it is a little different than what's out right now. But this idea about creating software within virtual reality that tries to convince you that you are in reality is really interesting. One of the concepts that Duncan brought up was like, what if you were in a virtual reality game and the first thing the character does when you get into the game, you know, you're the virtual character, is take the helmet off. You know, so you you put the helm you put this virtual reality goggles and helmet on or whatever, and then what your character does the first thing in the game is 
take theirs off to try to convince you that, okay, this is actual reality. You know, it's like playing with uh, your senses. Another, like, really bizarre concept that Duncan brought up was, like, having, a, like, a doctor or a psychiatrist in the game that talks to you. Like, you, you have to go see a therapist, and they're like, no, this is... This is not a video game. This this is reality. So that kind of that kind of stuff within such a realistic, fully immersive 3D world, you know, with head tracking, and who knows what other senses are going to be, you know, modified. But creating that sort of scenarios could be sort of controversial and mind altering. And uh, this is the last thing I wanted to talk about was this uh, kind of the controversy behind virtual reality and. One of the cases that Duncan threw out there was like, what if someone, you know, accidentally killed someone while using this virtual reality? The, ac the example that he gave was like someone, you know, accidentally choking their wife, you know, while having this headset on and going to court, you know, because it's inevitable that something like this would probably happen. You know, someone could um, forget to eat because they forget that they're within virtual reality or someone could you know, lose their job because they just were so susceptible that they just forgot about the other world and it was so pleasant in this virtual reality that it just caused people to give up on their real lives. But all that being said, I'm really excited to see um, what kind of possibilities the realm of virtual reality holds for um, you know, media, entertainment, education. I think there's just so many possibilities with education, even within just the medical realm, thinking about seeing a 3D surgery. So students, uh, medical students could, you know, get a virtual reality tour of how a surgery goes before it happens. And, you know, there's all sorts of ideas of things that could come from this. I'd like to know what you think about virtual reality, what possible ideas you have about it, what controversies you see, and what else you might have liked from this episode. Let me know down below, leave a comment, like, and subscribe.